Would you like to increase your Guild Wars 2 performance with more frames a second, a nice mount wheel where you can easily select your next mount, or some damage meters showing you exactly how much damage you do but you don't want to mess around with all these elements? Of course you do. I'll show you how to do that quick and simple. Let's dive into it, shall we? Hey guys, Casual Critic here, and today we'll be looking at installing add ons for Guild Wars 2 in a simple way. Normally, you would do that by using DLL files and chain loading them if you want to use multiple add ons at the same time. However, today we'll be looking at Guild Wars 2 Add on Manager, which can simplify the entire procedure a lot and allows you to install several add ons with just a few clicks. Just download and run Guild Wars 2 Add-on Manager and you'll be greeted with this window showing you all the add-ons that this add-on supports. Basically you have ArcDPS, BuildPad, D912, PXY and D2 Radial. For this video we'll be installing ArcDPS, D912, PXY and Guild Wars 2 Radial because I highly recommend everyone should use these add-ons. ArcDPS is a DPS meter showing you various metrics about damage done and things like ping and frames a second. D912 PXY allows you to run the game on DirectX 12 and increasing your performance by a lot. I have a dedicated video about that so definitely have a look over there if you want to know more. And Guild Wars 2 Radeon gives you a mount wheel where you can quickly select your next mount. All these three add-ons are a must have in my book. Now let's see how we do that. We just click on every add-on that we want to install. Make sure the path is correct. You want to point this path towards your game folder where the .exe file for Guild Wars 2 is located. Just paste in the path here and select select folder. Then click the big button in the right corner and this program starts downloading all the add-ons that you selected and installing them in the proper way. That's it, you're done. Once you boot up the game you'll be greeted with a couple of new windows showing you that Guild Wars 2 Radeon is installed. Um, D912 PXY is installed and you'll see the window for, in this case, Arc DPS. Once you load into the game, you'll see that everything loads really, really slowly. And that's a sign of D912 PXY being installed correctly. If you want to get rid of this slow loading and increase your performance overall, have a look at my dedicated D912 PXY video. I'll go more into depth about that specific add-on over there. Um, but now we want to set up Guild Wars 2 radial menu for mounts. First, find your keybinds for all specific mounts and make sure every mount you have has a specific keybind. Then hit Shift Alt N, which opens up the quick menu for this specific add on, and go into the keybind menu and uh, make sure all the mounts, all the keybinds for the mounts in that specific add on are matching the ones in your game directory. So set that up correctly and then set up a certain key for showing this overlay in specific. I, I use the Z key, um, I just like that way. Once you're done setting everything up and once you're done um, with all these keybinds, you can just exit out and press that specific key, hold it, and you'll be greeted with this radial menu. Um, your mouse can then easily select the next mount you want to use and it just makes the game so much better, basically. In addition, um, if you hit Alt Shift T, you'll be running Arc DPS, and you can set up some settings for that specific add-on. For example, showing you all the damage that you do, showing the damage per second that you do, etc., etc. That's all specific for that add-on, so you can access that with Shift Alt T. If you don't like the Ad Manager way of working, you can also, of course, use the regular way of installing add-ons. But I must warn you, that's quite a hassle. Um, Although if you are using add-ons that may not be supported by Add-on add Manager, um, this may be the way to go. So download all the add-ons that you want to install and you'll probably notice that they're all having the same file name. They're probably all called d3d9.dll, which is basically the file that Guild Wars 2 runs once it boots up to check for certain things. So you can overwrite your existing d3d9.dll with one of those files for the add-on and then that add-on is being run. However, if you want to use multiple, you can't use that file multiple times because the game only accepts one of these files, right? So what you can do is then uh, do something called chain loading, which basically means that you have to change the name of your specific DLLs for your specific add-ons into a, a, a different naming scheme that is supported by the add-on. In this specific case, we have um, kept ArcDPS as d3d9.dll 
Um, we renamed Guild Wars 2 Radial to D3D9 underscore chainload.dll. And for example, Guild, Guild Wars 2 Hook, if you want to use that, you can rename that DLL to Reshade64 with a capital R and a capital S dot DLL. And then basically just dump all those DLL files into your main game window. That should work as well. Although this is quite prone to issues, to errors, if you type something incorrectly. And of course those naming schemes for each individual add-on is different per add-on. So you gotta be really careful. You gotta read the readme files and combining certain add-ons can give issues. So if you just want better performance, if you just want the, the radio menu, and, and for example, a DPS meter, absolutely use add-on manager. It's amazing. It's like five clicks and you're done. Um, but if you want some more complicated things, you can definitely use that um, chain loading way of working by renaming your DLL to specific naming, but you've got to read every readme for each add-on you want to install. Um, check out which name they accept, check out which order you want to load them in, that can differ. And it's all about combining these add-ons and for certain combinations you may need specific setups. So I'll, I won't go into too much depth here, but absolutely check out Add-on Manager, it's amazing. That's it for now, thank you for watching. I hope this was useful. If it was useful, if you weren't aware of um, Add-on Manager or D9, or D912PXY, Guild Wars 2 Radio Menu, or ArcDPS, for example. Um, let me know in the comments. Hit that like button if you feel like it, and if you want to get more tips and improvements in the future, maybe consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.